My name is Robert Owens, and I'm a vocalist, I'm a DJ, I'm a producer. Um, I travel around the world, probably every other week I'm flying to some different part of the world. Um, last week I was in New Zealand and Australia, I did a tour over there, and I did the Sydney Opera House last Saturday, which was really a privilege uh, for me to be able to do something like that. You know, I felt o overwhelmed. Um, but globally, I travel around everywhere. You know, I've been some of everywhere. And um, I think me traveling has a reflection on my writing and my delivery um, vocally when I, I give a performance because I, I reflect back on different places, experiences, um, talking to people. People is an important factor in why I'm doing this. And um, they, they generate a lot of the energy you know, that um, inspires me to want to create and give. Well, I've actually come out of disco. Um, I started back in the early days of um, before house. Um, I come up with DJs like Larry LeVan, um, Frankie Knuckles, Brian Hardy. Um, I've performed at Studio 54. I've performed at Paradise Garage. I've done shows with Lolita Holloway, Jocelyn Brown, Grace Jones, um, uh, uh, Sylvester, I've, I've, I could hand you a list of people, Miles Davis, people that I've had conversations with that inspired me, you know, um, back from the origins of when this all evolved into the house thing. It's great, I think it's wonderful, I, you know, it's really nice. Um, vibe from just people just you, you felt a nice warmth you know um, even before I, I got a chance to talk to people after the, um, the um, little panel scenario um, you just instantly felt a nice warmth coming into the room you know just looking at people and I thought that was really cool my panel was about vocals production and um, relation between vocalists and producers um, I think that was mainly what it was about, <laughs> um, but I think it veered off into a few different angles of it, but it mainly triggered around production and vocals. I've recently put out like a vocal package of just like over 2,000 of, of parts vocally that um, it's a sample CD thing on Loop Masters where young kids could just go and take and practice and, and use different pieces of the vocals um, to get their own personal experience of working with a vocal. Sometimes I think it's fear factors when you, you're working actually in a proper environment, whereas if you have something personalized like that as a young kid, they can sit at home and they don't have the fear. The whole um, objective that I was trying to convey is that it should be organically natural. The more relaxed and calm you are creating, the more, um, um, I think you'll instantly get a result that way, opposed to, you know, um, struggling or forcing yourself to do something. Well, vocals in house, vocals in general, um, it's, you're delivering a story. Um, you're giving some people something um, for um, the public to remember by uh, conveying a story. It depends on the situation. Some, you think more minimalistic guys, they just want a sample. It, you could get a hit off of that or you think about somebody like Paul Johnson he just put down on a song and got a hit but it still conveyed a feeling you know so it's about conveying a feeling you know whatever vocal part you use and capturing that moment that you know flows with your production yeah thank you